check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Got it. Woo. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Shoes, as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. A year-end celebration of the top five defenses that I've put out. Uh, I already put out a top five passing plays. I have a link in the description below if you guys didn't catch that. But if you want most the most explosive passing plays in the game, uh, I have a video out for that already. This is going to be the top five most shutdown defenses. Blitzes, run defenses, pass defenses, base defenses, everything you need all in one video. So if you just got the game, whether for you know Christmas or you're picking it up for the playoffs, NFL, whatever, this is going to the top five defensive plays for you to use. Uh, other than that, if you want to see more top five videos, I have other topics I can put on. Top five run plays I haven't done in Woo! a while. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section, although I haven't really necessarily planned that. Uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you want to see that and I can put out top five run plays. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys the formation. The formation is the 4-3, even 6-1. The play that I'm going to show you guys, the cover two is a lot better this year. So I started running cover two and obviously you can see there's a huge difference in average. So let's go ahead and let's pick that cover two. As always, got to do my plug for my coin sponsors, AOEH.com. You guys don't know how much they do for me. I know how much they do for you because I get a lot of comments saying that you guys have bought coins from them. Uh, and I appreciate that too, by the way. I appreciate the support from all the people that buy coins through my coin sponsor because it does support this channel. But as always, if you guys want to support this channel and you need coins for your mud team, check them out. Link in the description below. It's just discount code MONEY. You get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. So I appreciate you guys for hooking me up with that. Now, as far as this defense goes, like I said, there's, there's multiple ways to run this. I'm going to show you the way that I've been doing it up to a year. Uh, it might be a little bit of a longer setup, but to me, it's a little bit more consistent when it comes to run plays, especially uh, because there's not as much gaps. Uh, but it's a really good pressure package. So without a doubt, easiest way to do this play. I'm going to do my, my my wide triangle to bring up my coverage adjustments. Then I'm going to base a line, and then I'm going to do it again, base a line and show blitz. Uh, and that brings all the, uh, the, the, the defenders down. I can also uh, show blitz again to back these guys off, uh, which I think is just fine because ultimately I find that hard hard flatting or the blitz like this is going to make the most sense. So this is pretty much going to be the base. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my D-pad to the left and down to pinch that defensive line. Then I'm going to go the opposite direction, D-pad and the, to the right and down to uh, basically blitz all my linebackers. Then the last thing I'm going to do is D-pad to the left and up to slant outside. I'll have a setup in the description because I know that's a lot. Now there, I didn't even get to do everything, but you can see this. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even do the full setup right, and I still got the sack. Obviously, I mean, there's only five blockers, so that plays a big part. But let's go to the replay because, like I said, I didn't even do everything I was supposed to be doing. But you can see the alignment. The fact that I'm hard flying, the fact that these safeties are playing a little bit closer to the box than normal, it's going to make it to the point where they get involved in early routes maybe a little bit sooner than normal but ultimately I did hard flat so even though these guys are backed off they will play down to the point where they're gonna get in the way of the uh, the, the short check and releases now as far as the, the the blitz goes like I said I want to typically be down over the center but you can see once again we have an additional additional guy sprinting in so nobody's gonna really get open in the amount of time needed so basically it's a six on five which is pretty obvious but the purpose of this and me showing this in the replay is ultimately this alignment alignment this spread this angle is why these guys will basically sprint in past anybody uh, as you can see it's just they're just going to take a an instant path to the quarterback that's something that i feel that my setup gives that the, maybe the the pro setup doesn't necessarily give so first we'll do it with a play action running back which will be the pa crossers it's the exact same setup although i already kind of messed it up but boom we got it right there like i said we're just going to basically 
pinch the defensive line and slant them out. Then we're just going to blitz all and guess pass. I didn't really mention there. Uh, so it's a really quick setup. It's really not that long if you're used to doing it. Like I said, I've been doing it for over a year. I could do it with a blindfold on. So then I really have two options. Now, number one, this is a play action play. So the running back is going to stay in and block. But I find that the best way to get pressure on a play like this and the majority of these plays is going to be taking this guy here, whoever's over the running back, and bring him in. This is going to be my user. I bring him into the line because I want this offensive line to shift in my direction. So basically, the path to the around the running back is going to be quickest from this defensive end, the op, the guy opposite the running back, because the play axe is basically going to take him out of the play. And me being on this side basically gives me the opportunity to basically just drop back right away or cover the running back if I want to, you know, if I hard flat or whatever I want to do. Whatever I decide to do, this gives me an option to basically be the center of the field or to be, um, you know, like I said, take away the running back or whoever. So I'm going to stay over this tackle for just a second, then basically drop back and you can see the guy just gets in free, which is something that I put out in my previous schemes. Now I can get heat off of both sides it really just depends on you know what I decide to do as far as who I decide to use her so we're gonna do our setup one more time and then I'm just gonna bring this guy down this time I'll bring him down over the center and you're gonna see both sides are gonna come off off the off the edge on both sides so you can see running back doesn't have a shot I mean that's just like stealing so we're going to pick that play again now I'm gonna pick a play where uh, I have um, you know, at least a running back blocking with no play action at all. I want no play action. It's like right here, the inside cross. So we're going to have a six on six now. As you can see, that's my setup. I mean, that's how quick it takes me to do it. That was like a half a second. I didn't really, I know, I, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. And, my, and for people that have been watching, if you've been doing this this last year with me, then you definitely have, uh, you know, an advantage. You should be able to get that set up in pretty quick. But like I said, there's a couple different ways I can do it. Come down right over the center, basically just, you know, hold this center for a second sometimes i can do it long enough to hold the running back you can see boom we just have a guy flying off the edge even the running back blocking he ended up blocking nobody now this is also something that i saw in another breakdown where essentially uh lining up just to the left uh, the center can help and i think that in this particular instance it helped to keep the running back forward because i think that they he thought i was going to a gap but ultimately that's really an important part of this when getting uh the pressure off the opposite side of the running back is you do have to basically come down to this gap and like i said i don't have to engage but I basically just have to, you know, hold that spot for a, for long enough for a blocker to to, to notice me. So we're going to do that again. Like I said, I, really easy setup. Like I said most important part is definitely guessing blitz and definitely zoning all, which I didn't even do there. But like I said, for whatever reason, I, I hear that it helps to have your arrow pointing on the opposite end of the tight end. And I'll go ahead and I'll do it the other way and we'll see what happens. Like I said, this here, let's see if we get the, the blitzer off the other side. As you can see, it didn't really matter. We get the same blitzer off the same edge. So that's something which I'm not 100% sure, sure if it matters. Like I said, it's nothing that I ever really mess with before, but we have a six on six. Just gotta make sure we get everybody in the position here. And we have a very easy play. Like I said, I gotta come down right into this guy. You can see he's still peeling off and we're still getting a free runner pretty much every single time. So very easy blitz to set up. And like I said, it's the same as the blitz that I showed. I showed a blitz earlier, a version of this earlier this year, and I showed it last year. It's the exact same setup, but ultimately I feel like the cover two is probably much better coverage. Now, one of the things that I like about my setup that I think uh, I'm not sure if you can do this out of the pro setup, is you can actually shoot a lot of gaps when it comes to run plays. So let's go ahead and let's pick that play one more time. We're going to go ahead. We're just going to go, I guess we'll just go with an inside zone um, because that's probably the most common. So we'll pick that. So really easy setup, at least for me. I know a lot of people are probably going to struggle with this at first, but you can shoot gaps with this, which is basically you just stand back right at about the position to give you, and then you can see how I can basically just run across and take people out. So basically, that's one of the reasons that I like this setup. A lot of people don't know that you can, uh, you know, I don't know if you can do that with the pro setup. I know I can do it with this setup. I just don't get too close to the line. And then basically, just boom, just get right inside and you can take out run plays. So then we're going over what I think is without doubt the best run defense in Madden 22 right now. I'm going to show you guys a run defense glitch that I put out in the previous video. But I'm also going to go over a defensive play that, in my opinion, uh, is one of the best base defenses for run or pass. The formation itself is the 3-4 odd. Now, the play I'm going to show today is the cover four drop show, too. This has been an overpowered defense for a very long time. Now, as 
far as this play goes, I picked random run play. I'm not really going to do too much. I can run, number one, I'm not, I don't really have to do anything. Cover four is a superior run defense. These safeties just naturally fill the run lanes. And I'll go ahead and I'll let it run without any adjustments. I brought him down to the box a little bit. But I'll just show you guys without any adjustments what these safeties typically do. Now, he made some moves there, got more yards than he will when I put in my setup. But just so you guys know, whether you're playing this on current gen or next gen, uh, cover four is just always one of the best run defenses. And you can see the amount of coverage we get. But like I said, if you don't guess pass in a cover four, typically these safeties will walk down and fill uh, run lanes. You can see he's the first one there to make a play, even though he kind of over pursued a little bit. He meets him two yards past the line of scrimmage. So just as it's set up, the safeties make this defense an elite run defense. So without a doubt, just know that if you're on uh, on current gen, because the, some of the tricks I'm going to show you today only work on next gen. Now, as far as the setup goes, there's quite a few steps. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit wide triangle, then I'm going to baseline, then I'm going to show blitz. Wide triangle again, and then show blitz. That's wide triangle, right on the left stick, then wide triangle, left on the left stick. So that's basically going to bring up my alignment like this. The, le the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to basically pinch my entire defense, which is going to be right bumper R1, then down on the left stick. The reason I'm doing that, I don't know why, but since I've been pinching my defense, it's just been kicking this run game or this run defense up an entire notch. I do this out of a lot of blitzes too. I just find that for whatever reason, number one, there's no lanes, but number two, you can see we still have outside containment most of the time, and this just really kicks the run game up a notch. Then the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to hit wide triangle one more time, and I'm going to go underneath for hard flats, and this is basically going to be my look. This is an absolute absolute shutdown run defense. It's going to give you a lot of really good pass coverage as well. Uh, and this is pretty much how I can do it. Now, if I want to, I want to back these cornerbacks off. Sometimes that's a good move if you have time for that. Uh, but ultimately, you, you know, you don't want them necessarily in a position where if your opponent does decide to pass, that's going to be one of the weaknesses. They could run streaks if they're fast enough right past those cornerbacks. But as far as the run defense goes and everything else, you know, pass defense over the middle, everything's pretty much going to be shut down. Now, the last step, I mean, I can run this just like this, and I'm going to do that. But the last step, if you're on uh, next-gen consoles, is you can actually run commit. You can actually go RB, R1, which is a trick I showed in a video a couple days ago. You can run commit and you're going to see how you have pretty much no penalty at all when it comes to pass committing. And the reason is because there's only three down linemen blitzing. Now, I know a lot of people think that uh, this got passed in a recent patch. It did not. You'll see right here that, you know, these guys are going to run commit, but take my word for it. If it was a pass play, they would not run commit. Unless you're on current gen consoles. Current gen does not have that run commit trick. But like I said, every other setup I show you, I'm only going to do this once and then the rest of the time here, I'm going to do it uh, as normal. You can see right here, we just get uh, an amazing uh, amount of run defense right through the middle there. If you guys didn't catch that video with the run commit glitch that I'm talking about, I'll show you uh, one time how it works. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick cup four again. This time we're going to purposely pick a uh, pass play. We're just going to pick uh, the double pump and go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna do the exact same setup. Like I said, I'm going to run commit and I'm also going to do the hard flats. So like I said, we're, we're, we're ran commit here. I'm going to hit the bumper down on the thing. You can see right there on the screen and you're going to see how this is going to have, um, you know, it's just, it's not run committing, which is like I said, it's a glitch based off the fact it's a glitch based off the fact that you don't nope. have, um, this is throwing the ball away. But it's based on the fact that you have three down linemen pass rushing. That is the reason that this works. So if you were to make a mistake, like say you have a fourth guy, okay, I do the exact same thing. Although I, I did mess it up there a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to, it's going to go off the wall. So we're run committing this time. Now that we have a fourth guy going in, watch what happens. Not, not only that, but fourth guy, but also a linebacker. You're going to see how all these guys uh, run commit again. So like I said, it's real simple. Um, you just need to have three down linemen. There is an alternative. If you're on current gen, there is another way to do this. I'll go ahead and I'll put it back on random run. If you're on current gen and you want the same benefits, I would just say blitz all. This is going to give you uh, obviously less pass coverage, but you know, this is something that you can do. If you want the same similar effect when it comes to run committing, I mean, you're getting that with the linebackers. So that's something that I actually do quite a bit in some of my blitzes anyway. So I don't really find that it's a huge uh, disadvantage, but you can see if I just do it like this, if you're on current gen, this is probably the best way to do it. And I still can drop back in coverage with Roberts. So like I said, this is something that um, you're going to get a very similar effect when it comes to run committing. You see, we're shutting everything down in the backfield. This one today is going to be one of the best pass defenses and blitzes you can find in the game right now. I've seen people as far as some pro players call it the meta defense right now, but I'm not really sure if that's the case. It's just a really good defense. It's really good if you're going against guys like Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray, these mobile quarterbacks. You're going to have to resort to a formation like this. The formation itself is the 2-3-6 Sam. It's also known as the dollar formation. Some playbooks will have the dollar. Some playbooks will have the 2-3-6 Sam. You want to get a little bit of pressure. You want to step it up a little bit. And this is definitely going to be the base defense for me. Uh, the number one defense in this formation, in my opinion, is the DB fire too. Now, as far as this setup goes, I mean, I hit random gun. I don't know what happened. 
happened it gave me just random whatever but this is actually perfect a formation like this because they're, they're disguised really well these cornerbacks are disguised to a point where it looks like they're going to be uh, covering their users i like to bring them in just a little bit but an empty backfield look like this is even better because all i really have to do i'm going to choose whatever side has the least receivers and i'm going to blitz this guy here and bring him down uh, into the gap this is basically what's going to get my free rusher in. i'm not going to stay here very long i got to drop back immediately and take away uh 16's uh, you know the, the slot receiver on the left there but this is pretty much it you don't really have to do anything i like to slant my guys outside uh, my defensive line a lot of time although here it doesn't even look to really make a difference but there we go now i guess it didn't work out the first time this will help to get these in my opinion i mean it works either way but this will help to get these uh these outside cornerbacks off the edge even easier so i'm gonna go ahead i mean i could do a lot of coverage adjustments and pinch my defense bring these safeties down a lot of times because you know a short passing uh concept is pretty much going to be what you need to beat this defense you get also hard flat stuff like that uh, this is pretty much going to be uh, the base setup and your defense can look something like this now your safeties you know you can leave them back there's a lot of different things you can do the only other thing i would say is make sure you guess pass guess pass is going to be one of the things that i do just about every single time so let's go ahead and let's take this off so the, the offense can run their play now like i said i'm not staying home long gotta get back and you can see both the cornerbacks come off the edge extremely quick and get a sack from both of them really so here we have a look where we have a uh a, a running back in the backfield which is going to be typical whenever you have a running back in the backfield this guy here he has a much lesser chance to get pressure than the guy on the other side because this guy on the other side here um, even if the running back is on a pass block if it's a play action he won't be able to turn around quick enough to to take away this this blitzer and even if it isn't a play action a lot of times he won't be able to rotate over to pick up this blitzer so you're going to want to set the defense for that guy so all i'm going to do is basically uh user the gap over the running back to make sure that that guy really gets the attention or at least the line will shift in my direction and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do my setup again slant outside for my defensive line uh guess pass is pretty much all i have to do and then come down to this uh, gap here i can do a lot of other things like hard flatting which i did um i could press my you know my entire defense all that stuff but that's really up to you so as far as this play goes like i said the running back does go out on a pattern and you can see right there we get an easy sack off the edge hopefully i'll get some looks where the running back is blocking a couple things about this uh defense that i like number one i think cover two is one of the better defenses in the game right now and i've said that multiple times i think a lot of people feel like cover two is really one of the best ones to play um so that's something but you will not stop the run very well that's something you have to keep in mind this is not a good run defense here i spread the defensive line out a little bit that should help as well uh, but this is pretty much all you're going to do like i said this is something where if it's a run play it's going to gash me anyway so it doesn't really matter i'll show you guys a run defense here in a minute out of this formation but ultimately it doesn't really um doesn't really matter so like i said dropping back on this tight end it's really open we get the cornerback off the other side other than that it's going to get right in the formation the formation itself is the three four odd now if i had to pick a play that i would say is my favorite play in this formation the one that i call the most it would definitely be the pinch dog two press now as far as this setup goes um number one you're going to want to change your um uh, your defensive uh, cornerbacks and linebackers and safeties and all that stuff. You're gonna show blitz baseline, show blitz. That's basically gonna bring all these linebackers down and basically create a seven man front. Now from here, you don't really have to make any adjustments at all. I could leave this just like this and I'm going to get pressure nine times out of 10. I like to put my user on a blitz and then always wanna guess pass. Guessing pass is probably the most important thing because if it's a play action, the outside linebackers are, they're gonna come in free most of the time. So if you guess pass, they won't uh, bite on the play action. They won't tackle the running back by mistake and let the quarterback get away, stuff like that. But then I also wanna either make sure, I mean, if I'm, this is not the full setup. There's two different setups. I mean, you could send this setup, which will get you really good pressure. There's also an all out blitz setup which i'll show you guys here in a second and number one that linebacker in the middle next to me is going to drop right into the uh the bunch i have the opportunity to choose either the running back depending on whether he goes on a route or dropping straight back in the middle which you know something i'll have to make post snap once i see what the play is going on uh but this is pretty much going to be the play i like the soft squats too i think they do a pretty good job here you can see uh the running backs there but the soft squats takes it away to me the soft squats do a pretty good job of covering short or deep but we'll go ahead and we'll do that again like i said show blitz base aligned show blitz that will bring all your uh, linebackers down and then like i said you have really two options here you could either just blitz your own guy uh try to stay home for about a half a second you know try to pull this uh, guard and then drop back into like i said either the running back or the uh we do get a run play here i'm glad we got a run play because like i said this is not a good inside run play defense and that's exactly what that was 
So that's why, like I said, you're gonna have to be Johnny on the spot between that, the Pinch Dog 3, and the Cup 4 Quarters. But the setup for all three of these plays are going to be the exact same. So let's go and let's do that again, although there I didn't even get to do that because they just called the play. But like I said, Cover 2 is not a very good inside run defense just based on the fact that the safeties drop back. So you really can get pressure from this setup, but you also have the option to just flat out just blitz all. If you do that, you also have, um, you know, this will give you a really good opportunity when it comes to, um, you know, basically you're going to get much more pressure. So this is still a scenario where I either want to, I typically want to use the guy over the uh, running back. Uh, but that, I mean, that's just for pressure package reasons. But ultimately, you know, it's really your choice whether you want to use him or use the guy over here next to the bunch. I find that the pressure gets in better if you use the guy over the running back. So like I said, this is going to be on me to get back. We already saw how, you know, that soft squat takes care of the running back. So we're going to bring our guys in. Blitz all. I mean, that's really the most you have to do. Everything else is pretty good. Um, and then, you know, ultimately, I'm in a position where, like I said, I got to drop back on that slot receiver. Um, you know, close to the line, it looks like a tight end. I'm not even really sure, you know, but if, as long as I, you know, stay home for like a second, you can see both guys come in off the edge. Got a new uh, defense for you guys and a new defensive glitch that you guys have probably run into and didn't even know it. If it feels like every time you run the ball, your opponent just happened to guess that uh, you were running and he ran commit before the play and you don't know how they're doing it, it's because of the glitch I'm going to show you guys today. The formation I'm going to show this glitch out of today is going to be the meta 335 wide. The play that I'm going to start off with is going to be the three Sam Will Blitz. Now the glitch I'm going to show you guys today is something that's going around where you can essentially run commit every single play with no penalty. As you'll see, all you really have to do is hit the L1 or R1 and then down on the right stick to run to hit run up the middle. And you'll see that once they run this play, pretty much everybody sells out for a run play. Now there it didn't burn me because I chose slants, but you could see pretty much everybody was uncovered. I'll go to the replay if, if anybody isn't aware of this. You probably should be aware of this, but you can see every player, including the safeties, the cornerbacks, everybody just goes straight in uh, for the uh, for the backfield for any potential run play, leaving all these receivers uncovered. Now the glitch that you can do to change this is essentially you can run commit every single play and get the benefit of run committing without actually getting the negatives. And the way to do that is real simple. All you have to do in this particular play is zone all. And now you'll see where essentially because we have three down linemen, um, they will, you know, for whatever reason, when you do this with three down linemen, you won't get that negative penalty. So you can see here, we do the run commit. I'm sure it has something to do with weak boxing. Maybe it's something that EA had to pass because of that. But you can see the second that I run commit, I'll do that again. Like I said, you can see the, the little menu popping up. You can see I'm hitting down the right stick. It's not going to matter just as long as I go ahead and I zone all my linebackers. Now, that's not necessarily how I'm going to run this defense, but I'm just showing you that this is going to basically remove that penalty, and now I can run commit all game. And now, like I said, this looks good. Obviously, you know, we're getting some pretty good pass coverage, but let's see what happens when we actually pick a run play and we do the exact same setup. So picking the exact same play, we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick an actual run play, the halfback gut. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to zone all. We're going to go right back to that same look, and we're going to hit run up the middle. Now watch what happens. You saw the last two times on pass plays, I ran commit from this look and we didn't get any actual run committing against the actual pass play. But now we get a run play and look, everybody crashes again. So you can see, I'll go to the replay just to make sure that everybody saw that. We get the exact same look. We run commit, we only have three down linemen rushing and everybody goes in like the normal run commit. So that's really the key to this. Any play in this game, you can do this from just as long as you have only three linemen rushing so like i said once again we'll zone all we will run commit every single play you can run commit as long as you only have three down linemen so we're going to do this one more time like i said you can see everybody here is just crashing in and pretty much every run play is going to get shut down but you won't have the penalty when it comes to, to actual pass plays so like i said you can do that from any single play in this game you just have to alter the play to only have three down linemen that's why i think this particular play is probably the best because number one you can get a lot of blitzing pressure out of it we're going to pick that again uh, we're we'll, we'll just going to go random on the other side this time. So now we got random set up. Like I said, we're just going to do this setup again. We're going to zone all and we're going to run commit. This is probably, like I said, this is one of the easier ways to do it. If you want to, you could always put somebody in a hard flat. Say you have you know, the running back on that side. I'd say it would make more sense to hard flat to this side. But ultimately, um, you know, you have your options with those guys. You can you can do Mabel's on both sides. You can do, uh, you know, flood the middle, whatever. And then you can see if we get a run play, we get a straight up run commit and everything's just getting shut down. So let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, you could hard flat these guys too. You know, any number of things you can do. So here I got the middle flood. I got the hard flats. 
I think this is one of the better ways to run this. One of the reasons I like this particular defense too, is you could basically, I would align this something like this, make it almost look like a 5-2. So you basically have, you know, everything pretty much bottled up to start. And then, like I said, as long as we have that run commit on, we will pretty much, you know, everything's shut down here. All the short routes are shut down. Josh Allen's pretty much got to take off. I should have hit the right click button there uh, to basically send them after the quarterback. You can see everything is bottled up. This particular play here is kind of like a cover three match, which is one of the reasons that I like this particular play is because this particular play, you're going to get really good matching principles when it comes to um, the actual coverage uh, and then like I said, like I said, I, I just have like a 5-2. So we basically have nothing, nothing's really going to get, you know, through the middle here as far as a run play. We got our hard flats. This looks like the exact same play. And then Josh Allen's going to run again because nothing is open. We went ahead, we picked a slightly different defense. Like I said, the setup, you can't really beat the setup. I mean, it's so simple. All you really have to do is zone all and then run up the middle. And that's going to be a really good pass defense. Like I said, you'll cloud the middle. You can you can free roam a little bit and try to take away some of these short throws. But you can see there's just nothing open. I mean, the computer is pretty much running every single play based off the fact that, number one, these cover threes are just that much more improved. And number two, there's just nothing open here. Like I said, I can run commit all game. I can bring this safety down, uh, maybe give myself a little bit of a shorter path just in case it is a run play. I'll do this one more time until we get that run play, but you can see there's just nothing here. And this guy, I mean, Josh Allen is just taking check downs or running with the quarterback because this is pretty much one of the easiest defenses to set up, but it's also going to be one of the hardest to beat. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of this particular uh, formation, this particular playbook, this is all for my Dolphins slash Giants uh, ebook. Links in the description below. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.